You may at some point run into an issue where your computer fails to load into Windows correctly. If this happens enough times, your computer may attempt an automatic repair, and if it doesn't fix the issue, you'll end up at this screen, letting you know that your PC did not start correctly. It'll present you with two options to try to fix the issue. The first is to just restart the computer, which I'd always recommend trying first just to see if the issue resolves. However, if you end up back at this screen again, you'll want to take a look at the second option, which is Advanced Options. Go ahead and click on it. And on the next screen, click on Troubleshoot. And then click on Advanced Options. Here you have several different choices. The first thing I would recommend is Startup Repair. Go ahead and click on it. Windows will restart, start diagnosing your PC, and attempt to fix whatever issue is preventing it from starting. A lot of times this will fix the issue, but if it doesn't, you may end up back at this screen, letting you know that the startup repair was not successful. If you end up here, click Advanced Options, and then click Troubleshoot, and click Advanced Options again. If your computer is having problems starting after a recent Windows update, click Uninstall Updates. Here you have two options. If you're having problems after installing the annual Windows 11 feature update, click the second option. If you're having problems after installing the latest monthly quality update, click the first option. On the next screen, click Uninstall Quality Update. It may take several minutes to uninstall. Once it's finished, it'll tell you that the uninstall is complete. Click Done. And then click Continue. If that was the cause of your startup issues, then your computer will load into Windows. However, if your computer fails to start again, there are a couple more things that you can try. Back on the Advanced Options screen, you can try System Restore if you have a restore point recorded on your PC. But if all else fails, and you still end up back on this screen, letting you know that your PC did not start correctly, click Advanced Options once again, click Troubleshoot, and this time, click Reset This PC. There are two different options for resetting your PC. Since you're just having startup issues, I'd recommend using the first option to keep your files. It may remove some apps and settings, but all of your personal files will still be there. On the next screen, if you want to download the most recent version of Windows and reinstall from that, you can choose Cloud Download. Or if you just want to reinstall Windows locally from your device, click Local Reinstall. It'll take a moment, and then you'll be asked to confirm that you want to reset your PC. It'll let you know that settings will be changed back to their defaults and applications will be removed, but your files will not be deleted. When you're ready, click Reset. Your computer will begin the reset process. This may take a while to finish, depending on your device, and your computer will restart several times throughout the installation process. But once it's finished, it should load back into Windows. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site, and don't forget to subscribe.